Monticello, an internationally recognized World Heritage Site, includes many historic buildings, one of which is Thomas Jefferson's iconic home. And making sure that all the buildings are maintained and restored as accurately as possible is a really big task. Hi, I'm Lucy Middleford. I'm the architectural conservator here at Monticello. With the help of conservator Andy Compton, we recently restored one of Jefferson's original record-keeping tools, Monticello's Compass Rose. Originally installed around 1807 and called the Wind Dial by Jefferson, the Compass Rose is mounted to the ceiling of the East Portico and connects to the wind vane on the roof. And it allowed Thomas Jefferson to keep records of which direction the wind was blowing at any given time. Over the past 212 years, the Compass Rose has deteriorated. The iron frame has corroded, the wood has been damaged from water that dripped down the shaft of the wind vane, and the original paints and other finishes have flaked off or been painted over. So the goal of this project was to stabilize the Compass Rose and restore it as accurately as possible to how it originally looked when Jefferson was alive. When restoring this historic object, we took great care to remove any modern finishes like paint or varnish, and then we prepared a smooth surface for replicating the original finishes while working to protect the original coatings that survived. The finishes on historic objects like the Compass Rose's arrow are often very friable, meaning that they powder easily, and the arrow is made of iron, so naturally it's rusted over time. That corrosion has resulted in the loss of almost all of the Jefferson era finish. So to find evidence of the original finish, we looked for protected areas where traces of the original finish might have survived. One of the ways we can discern between original coatings and modern coatings is by how they fluoresce under ultraviolet light. Under the microscope, we can tell the difference between the original natural resins and oils and modern paints. By looking at the chronology of different coatings and how they're made, we're often able to rediscover the object's original appearance. During this project, we discovered that the arrow, star, and directional letters were originally covered in gold leaf, otherwise known as gilding. Part of our restoration project was replicating gilding in the original black painted background. And first, we applied clear barrier coat to protect the original finishes. That will let future conservators easily remove the restored paints and gilding. It took some time, but we consolidated the wood and re-gilded the letters and the arrow, and then we reinstalled the compass rope back on the ceiling of Monticello's East Portico. When we do any preservation work, we have to take care not to damage any of the house's historic building materials. And for a project like this, we usually start after Monticello closes to the public and finish before we open the next morning. You'd never even know we were there. The newly restored Compass Rose is now on view, making it a great time for a visit to Monticello.